Hi everybody, welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I hope you had a chance to check out my recipe on vanilla poppy Linda tarts, where we used my brand new extra tasty vanilla sugar with fresh jacks. If you haven't had a chance to check out that episode, you can do so right here. To keep the fun spirit of Christmas baking season going, we're going to be making fabulous braised beef short ribs that is extra special and delicious and perfect to serve on Christmas day, if I do say so myself. Now for today's recipe, you're going to need the following ingredients. Four beef short ribs, four garlic cloves, one large onion chopped, two celery ribs chopped, three carrots chopped, and I'm using some beautiful rainbow carrots today, three tablespoons of tomato paste, two cups of some red wine, two cups of beef stock, two sprigs of thyme, one teaspoon of rosemary, and two bay leaves. Our first step is to preheat the oven to 325 degrees. Our next step is to generously season our short ribs with some salt and pepper on all sides. After that, you're going to heat some olive oil up in a very large Dutch oven with a lid. Now this Dutch oven does need to be oven proof with the lid as well being oven proof. So that way when your beef short ribs are ready, we can put the whole Dutch oven into, well, your bigger oven. What you'll do is once your oil is heated up in your Dutch oven, you're going to put all of your short ribs into the Dutch oven and you're going to brown them really well on all sides. Once they're nice and brown, you're going to take your short ribs out of your Dutch oven, place them on the cutting board and set them aside. Leave your Dutch oven on the stove and keep your temperature on your stove at like a medium, medium high heat and we're going to add the remainder of our ingredients. Our next step is to add our onion and garlic and mix until your onion is soft and translucent. After that, add your carrots and celery and again you're going to stir every once in a while and cook until your carrots are nice and tender. Place your pot with the lid on in the oven and you're going to bake this for about three hours or until the meat becomes very tender. Our short ribs are nearly done. You're going to remove your Dutch oven from your larger oven and you're going to carefully remove your short ribs out of the Dutch oven, keeping the bone inside and you can let them rest on either a cutting board or a plate. Cover it with some aluminum foil in order to keep the short ribs still warm. You'll then take out your bay leaves and your sprigs of thyme, and you'll use an immersion blender or a larger regular blender, and you're going to blend your sauce and the vegetables together so it's nice and smooth and creamy. short rib is ready to enjoy. It smells absolutely incredible here in my kitchen. The short rib itself has a gorgeous dark almost caramelized exterior. The vegetable and red wine sauce is going to be such a beautiful complement to the tender meat. Now you can choose to either serve it bone in or especially if you cooked it nice and tender and long enough, you should be able to easily slide the bone out for a more upscale presentation. Thank you so much for joining me today while we made our amazingly delicious, perfect for Christmas, braised beef short rib. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with me today. I appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on this journey from banker to baker. You can also visit my website or follow me on social media for this and all of my other great recipes. 
Until then, I hope you have a very happy bake day.